this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Rahaf Jihad Mohammed and Zainab Nasreldin. This is the game from Chess Olympia Women's Section that was played in Tromso in 2014. Rahaf Jihad Mohammed played with white pieces is from Palestine, and Zainab Nasreldin is representing Sudan. Rahaf started with C4. English opening, e5, knight to c3, knight to c6, g3, d6, bishop to g2, and Zainab played knight from g to e7. Knight to f6 is the most played move in this position. We have knight from g to e7, knight to f3, d5, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5. Rahaf castled kingside, knight takes knight, and of course white capture towards the center, black to move. What is better, bishop to d6 or bishop to c5? We have bishop to c5. Bishop to d6 is more precise. Bishop to c5. Why to move? What would you do? Rahaf played d3. There was another way to go, and that is knight takes on e5. After knight takes knight, d4. After bishop to b6, d takes on e5. White is a pawn up. The white's pawn structure is not that brilliant, is it? But pawn is a pawn. Okay, we have d3, Zainab castle kingside, queen to c2, rook to e8, rook to d1, bishop to f5, knight to h4, attacking the bishop, queen to f6, better was bishop to g4, not giving up a light square bishop, queen to f6 was played. Knight takes bishop, queen takes knight. White has a bishop pair. It is white to move and the care must be taken of the pawn on f2. So we have e3, rook from a to d8, bishop to e4 attacking the queen, queen to f6. White to move, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Well, perhaps rook to b1 comes to mind. Or half played d4. This is the move that brings advantage to white, for sure. e takes on d4. c takes on d4, attacking the bishop. Black is in trouble. If bishop to b6, which looks like a logical move, then bishop takes on h7, and after king to h8, bishop to f5. White is a pawn up. And note that white has two pawns in the center, against zero pawns. So, Zainab played for a trick. She played queen to e7. What is the trick? The trick is if pawn takes bishop. Let's have a look. If pawn takes bishop, then black would be winning. Queen takes on e4. Rook takes rook. Knight takes rook. And black is better. Or oh, if in this position queen takes queen, then in between move rook takes on d1 check and after king to g2, rook takes queen on e4. So what is the best move for white in this position? White can also capture the pawn on h7 and then play bishop to f5.
small advantage for white but there is even better move than that and the move is bishop takes knight winning a piece pawn takes bishop pawn takes bishop on c5 and there is no target on a4 rook takes rook check queen takes rook queen takes on c5 rook to b1 queen to d5 queen takes queen when ahead in material exchange pieces c takes on d5 rook to b7 c6 rook takes pawn on a7 rook to b8 rook to c7 rook to a8 rook takes on c6 black to move black played the move and resigned <laughs> what is the move this is the move black resigned why rook to c8 checkmate and let's go back to those critical positions of the game at move 12 and move 16 better was bishop to g4 or even bishop to e6 saving the bishop saving the bishop here and then again at move 16 in this position did you find d4 the simple and the best and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now